Hey yo everyone, it is a new year and I have a new data pack showcase. This is the Glamour Table Data Pack. It adds two new crafting tables as well as a new painting mechanic to allow you to create paintings and edit item textures entirely within survival in Minecraft Java Edition 1.21.4. The first table it adds is this painting table. It's crafted like a lot of workstations with four planks. And then we add a bowl and a brush on top to get our painting table. It can be placed like any block and it can be broken just by punching it. Um, but it can't be moved by pistons or anything like that. With this block to use it, you need a canvas. Canvases can be crafted with any color carpet surrounded by sticks, and that gives you a canvas of that color. Right-click the painting table with the canvas to place it, and then to edit it, you will need a dyed paintbrush. Um, so you can make that with a brush and any combination of dye. The color is the same as armor dyeing, um, for getting different combinations of colors to allow a wide variety of paint brushes. That gives you a brush. You will also want a slime ball to do erasing if you mess up with your painting. And then you just right click on the canvas and that paints directly on the item. There, okay, I think I got it this time. So once you are done painting your item, you can just right click to get the item back. You can see, you can see what it was painted to even in your inventory. And then with the canvases, if you place them, they take up a full block. Um, so you could use these to, you know, paint fake blocks over secret entrances. You could use them for just, you know, whatever random painting you want to do, instead of doing map art, you don't have quite the same resolution as maps, but they're still pretty useful. The second mechanic is very similar. It adds this glamour table, which is for editing item textures instead of creating paintings. So the glamour table is made with glowstone, two diamonds, a creaking heart, and then any color carpet. Um, it doesn't matter what color you place, it will always have a white top to it. This glamour table, don't know why I have two. Um, yeah, it looks sort of like a enchanting table, I'm trying to go for those sort of vibes, but with it, you need an item that has been prepared for editing. To prepare an item, you take whatever item you want, go to a smithing table, and add an eye of ender and a glowstone dust that will prepare it for texture editing. You can see here that when it's prepared, it is just an outline. It doesn't have the full texture anymore. You can place that in the table just like you did with the painting, and now you can edit it. And as you saw, this is a fire aspect sword. Um, so I've prepared some dyes here that go along with like blaze rod coloring just to give an example of, you know, something this could be used for. Maybe you have different enchantments on your tools and you want something to visually distinguish them. So this is just an example of using this as, you know, this is now a flame sword, and you can tell it's a flame sword because it looks like it's on fire. Um, but the texture editing process is really easy. You just right click the pixels you want to edit. As you saw on the painting, 
if I right clicked the painting with a slime ball, it restored the texture to the base color, but here, if I use a slime ball, it completely erases pixels. Um, but yeah, see here, just right click to get the item off, and I have my netherite sword with fire aspect. Now looks like an actual flaming sword. To help make items that are compatible with this resource pack, I've put together this little web app. I did most of the back end and then had some help from somebody on the Discord to make it look pretty, because the early version of this was ugly. Um, but with this tool, you can take any image you want. Um, so for example, I have this emerald pickaxe texture, and it will rescale it to 16 by 16 pixels and generate a give command that gives you an item with that texture using this resource and data pack. You can change who the give target is, what the item ID is for the item. There's a few options here for the model type. If it's a tool, it will be held in your hand like a tool. If it's item, it will be held in your hand like an item, uh, which is 90 degrees offset for most of the tools. And then if it's canvas, it will be scaled up when placed in an item frame to fill an entire block. The other thing you can do here is under advanced options, you can select dyeable colors only. This does some really fun math to limit the texture to only textures that can be obtained using the armor dyeing math. And it will tell you what all of the different dyes you'll need to obtain that are. You can do a little color by number thing here to show which of these brushes goes with which pixel, or you can click a pixel and it will turn off all the other ones just highlighting that one. Um, so if you want to paint a texture yourself, this will give you the closest match that you can obtain with the dyes that are available in-game. Just a last quick note before I go, the texture editing is available for all of the base tools, regardless of which material is used, as well as for maces. Uh, there's some code for doing tridents as well, but they're glitched due to a long-standing issue with how the trident entity is rendered when it's thrown, so I wouldn't recommend using them. Um, something else I didn't show off, you can edit the texture from any side of the table. I know that seems like a small thing, but that was one of the largest pains in programming this data pack, so I wanted to mention that here. And then finally, uh, the data pack and resource pack are available on Modrinth. You can use the resource pack without the data pack. If you use the web app, any items created with that give command will work without needing the data pack, but there's no point to using the data pack without the resource pack. Um, but yeah, that is all for now, and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and a wonderful new year, and I hope to see you all in the future.